Nah, that would be good. Okay. Uh, as for you... Is that really all the forest planks I could get? Rough. Okay. Glass, though. Glass I can do. I think the flares are meant for multiple people to let others know where you are. That does make a lot of sense. I need to go deforest the forest, is what I'm reading. What am I missing? Like, a fern? Like that? Yeah. Now the dragon has a home, and wow, my blueberries are already grown. Let me water my rabbit. of iron, it turns out. Is that enough glass? Almost. Uh, so let's see if we just go buy scaffolding. Is that a thing? Something uh, I can find over here. Maybe it's at the general store? Wait, how much are torches? 50 bucks for 25? That's a great deal. Never farming resin again. What do I need? Like the super resin, or super, super flesh. Hey, I'll take the moonstone axe. Now apparently it'll keep going too. What do you need? You need iron. All right, where's the general store? Is the general store that thing I haven't repaired? Because it's on my to-do list. Old man, how are you doing? Jantai, it is good to see you. Is this the store you need to open? Oh no, you want forest wood too. I think I can open the pet store though. I mean, straight up, never mind, I guess. This is no good. And what are you? You're missing all sorts of things. Hey, man. I got another key. My word, you've already found two of the ancient keys? You're proven to be quite the archaeologist's dream, my friend. I couldn't ex couldn't have chosen a better partner for this expedition. With two keys in hand, we're halfway to unlocking the secrets of this stubborn temple. Must admit, I'm starting to get rather excited about what we might find inside. 
ancient treasures, long lost knowledge, perhaps even... Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. We still need two more ancient keys. Keep up the excellent work and we'll be making headlines soon. Yeah. I mean, I will. I don't know about you. <laughs> quite the earth... That was quite the earthquake earlier, wasn't it? I can see you're worried. Is our rub and rubber stamp collection safe, you wonder? Yes. Yes, it is. The bureaucracy of our little town has very solid roots. So, Indiana Bones, eh? I heard you piece together some Yucatali trinkets. Exciting stuff, really. Ground must be heavy with all that historical insignificance. Keep digging, maybe you'll find your common sense next. Good lord. Just straight up rude. Ah. So I can get, like, an additional job for, like, 500 bucks. We'll get there. I think we're going to do one at a time and just go Thanks, nuts. Mandy. Thank you for the follow, Milia. Sorry, Mila. Mila? Happy to have you here. Now, let's see. Oh, my VTuber's looking as tired as I am. That's probably... Probably not a good sign. Open. I've got no more books. Okay. We need forest wood. So I'll just go down, chop a few trees. The Moonstone Axe, I might be able to one-shot them. Alright. You guys look like you're made of trees. Not nearly enough. Oh my goodness. But look at me go. I do like how satisfying this chopping is going. Alright. I feel like... No, no, no. Okay, so... I was thinking of, like, John Henry. Like, there was this old cartoon of him, like, going against a machine. And I was like... I, I equated that with, like, the exact same cartoon, but with, like, chopping trees. And I'm like, John Henry didn't chop trees. Who was that? And I think it was, uh... Paul Bunyan. Did he have the exact same story as John Henry? Like where he was just challenging some city slicker's cool new device, the chainsaw? Where like John Henry was like fighting against some track laying train or something? I think John Henry like straight up died. He was he like plowed through a mountain. It's been a long time. Those are some old cartoons. Cool stories though. They are very different stories. Now, I know Paul Bunyan and John Henry are very different. But they... Like... I'm thinking of these old cartoons, and I think they're Disney cartoons. That were virtually the same story. Like, I know, like... Their actual... Story, they're all... It are very different. Like, Paul B Bunyan is, like, some freakish giant guy who had a pet blue ox. And John Henry was just an actual person who was really good at his job. Just very strong. 
But I feel like they both had a cartoon. Where like one was like fighting or fighting. Uh in a contest to see if they could uh it, John Henry was in a contest to see if he could like lay tracks faster than a machine so all the workers could keep their jobs and then John Henry or not John Henry uh what's his face Paul Bunyan had also the exact same story but like versus a chainsaw babe the blue ox yeah I remember babe the blue ox like, he pops up from time to time while you're driving through the Midwest on your way to Montana. Alright. Uh, My blueberries is grown. feel like I shouldn't have, like, my axe out here. Hang on. You choose fertilized. And now y'alls want to be watered. The garden hose is very satisfying, by the way. Makes me very happy. Alright. We're close. I still no idea what scaffolding is. Wonder when that's going to come up. Alright. But we can build the staff now. Because we've got all the things and all the berries. Go nuts, everybody. You're a good fish. You're a good worm. You're a good jackalope. You're a good penguin. Penguin? You're a bad penguin. Get away from the furniture. Alright. So close. Am I really out of iron? I am really out of iron. Like, too short. Story of my life. Here comes the staff. But you know what? In this game, you can just straight up buy a staff. Hey, it's the crown. Like one more day and we can have that too. It's late slash early. It is time for me to call it quits, but I'm not gonna. Because I don't feel done. Give me iron ore. 600? That's pretty cheap. Never mind. I thought it was 600 for 50. Uh, how much did I need? Two? Wait, I've got six on me. Is it really charcoal I'm out of? That can't be right. Give you liberty or give you death? Why don't I just give you some milk and cookies?
Like, I just don't have the liberty on me right now. I swear I'm good for it, though. Yeah, okay. So how are we doing? Need two iron. One. Doink. So I had everything I need. I just spent $600 for no reason. As you do. And I gotta water my fish. You there. Oh, weeds. My friend will get that. No problem. All right, so now, scaffolding. Uh, the heck. If I were to scaffold something, it's not coming out of the simple work bench or any of these things. It would be coming out of you, if anything. What do I got? What do I got? Um. So you're not selling scaffolding. Of course not. You're not selling scaffolding, but are you... You are selling large sprinklers. Man, I like the garden hose. I think we're going to be good with that. Pangocha, like, you got nothing construction wise that I need. And you, why, why, why? All right, hang on, let's sort this because I've got a lot of stuff to sell. Don't need you, or you, or you. And we're actually pretty well off financially. But I still need scaffolding. There's no way it's at the farm shop, right? Apple seeds. Ooh. I'll take five of those. Wait, did you have any more animals? Like, I'm really worried that I need, like, the animal pen before you get the animals. It's a very real concern of mine. Okay, but... Do I have farm planks on me? I do. We can fix this. Never mind, I need iron. Can't fix anything. You're lactose intolerant, but you'll take the cookies. And it does suck. Now, are you one of those cheating lactose intolerants who just, like, chooses to suffer every now and then? Or are you very lactose intolerant and you're just like, I, I literally can't even. How much? I think I need to actually do buy one single piece of iron or... The worst thing is, I was there. I think there was enough, more than enough iron ore in the forest cave for me to have all this stuff. I just chose not to get it. 
Hey, you there. I'm gonna pet you. Where's my... Hang on. There we go. The last energy I needed. I knew you had it in you. Never mind. Here. Anybody? Let us plant apple trees. Here's the thing though. I feel like this area is not a good look for apple trees. Like I think this is where they're gonna go. But I don't like it, you know? Because I think the apple trees are gonna like block out the crops I have behind them. This is a problem for me. <sighs> so needy these crops. Though you know what I really like about these crops? It doesn't feel like you need more than nine. And honestly, nine feels like a bit much. I like that I'm not trying to like start the world's craziest like vegetable business. Like you can if you want. Heck, it's probably good money. You don't have to. Whoops. Alright, let's try this. I don't know if this is a good look. I might chop down these apple trees. Who knows, maybe they make scaffolding. Alright. Is that all the things? I could make copper. Do I really want to? All the brew crafting needs 10 crops at a time. Oh, that that would be rough. I wonder if the the cooking is just as rough. It probably is. Still, if like farming is your favorite part of the game, I could see that being fun. What am I doing? I came to town for a reason. Right? Fixing the general store to see if they sell scaffolding. I can't believe it! You actually finished it! I honestly can't thank you enough for your hard work. You know, when I bought this place, I thought I was just investing in a store. Turns out, I was investing in the kindness of strangers and their unexpected carpentry skills. Who knew that an earthquake and rebuilding my store could build such a great friendship? Now who's ready for the grand reopening sale? Everything must go back on the shelves. Okay, yeah, but... Alright, what is this note from Sophia? Use construction. I owe you from Sophia. Someday, you'll be able to use this for something. That sounds nice. I do like things. 
What is it, fish? Did you find some scaffolding? You did not. <sighs> nice try, though. Maybe I can... Bread. Maybe I can bread. Alright. And you need glass? I got that. You did it! The shop looks amazing! I can't wait to bring all the pets back from my very, very patient neighbors. Let's just say, not everyone appreciates being woken up at 3 in the morning by a chorus of cats that are missing their home. You know, last night I dreamed about the time I ran away from the orphanage to join the circus. I had no idea what I was doing, but the people I met at the circus helped me in so many ways. You surround yourself with kind and patient people, Things have a way of working out, you know? Kind of like when I met you. Guess what I'm trying to say is, thank you. Not just rebuilding for rebuilding the shop, but for reminding me that sometimes when everything falls apart, it's an opportunity to build something even better. That's some deep, su deep stuff right there. I should put that on a motivational cat poster or something. Right. I have about a million tennis balls to hide in the pet shop before I bring the dogs back. It's not a proper homecoming without a treasure hunt, is it? Alright. You can get an IOU from you. You're not going to help me build something in the future? Oh man, I can straight up buy a critter. Ooh. And I can buy eggs. So I could like triple down on like the, the critters I really like too. Like, these aren't really mysterious eggs. I know what they hatch. Like... I think? Right? So, like, this is the dragon. This is the griffin. This is the... the jackalope. What's the red thing? The worm? The worm on a balloon. You are the penguin. I, I see it now. I see the penguin. That makes you the fish? That makes sense. These are cool eggs. Uh, okay. $10,000 for a cat. Oh, the puppies look really cute. Especially this guy. Alright, this one speaks to me. We're getting him. Okay, but what do I do with him? Like, how does he work? Also, where did he go? Is he not in my backpack? Don't see him. There he is. There you go. Are you... You're a helper. Gotcha. All right. Come along, puppers. He's a good boy. I wonder if I can extract life energy from him. If I can't, it's kind of a problem. Like, if I can't get life energy from him when I spend like entire weeks away from my home. I'll fall way behind on my life essence quota. That's no good. Alright, uh, let's see. Put you in here. You. I pet you? He says, orf. Alright. Do you eat Luma food? Puppers? Oh no. We have a problem. Uh, puppy. How did I get these guys out of here? I think I caught them with a net. Right? Fishy. Get in the net.
Okay, I can put my dog there. You can hang around the home. I'm sorry you can't go adventuring with us. It's just that you're not a magical being. You're just a regular thing. Anyway, don't let the griffins bite. Maybe he does give magical essence. Like, maybe it was just too early for him. Alright. Here's where we find out. Alright. Food. Everybody pile on. Come on. You get a pet. Get you. All these pets. Wait, did my dog change color? And furthermore, where is my dog? Doggy? Oh man, the griffin ate him. Oh, there he is. Oh good, you're still the same color. You're a good boy. Even if you're not magical. All right, here we go. We're crafting the crown. We're doing the thing. Woo! Now we deliver this to Arian. Arian? Arian. Arian. starting to make sense now the name also really just moonstones for days okay we just got like the best axe on earth I can't wait to like dump all these the rest of them on my whip but the whip does not use moonstone I need I need new mushrooms and I know exactly who can help me out with that all right Arian yo you here I need you to solve my problems and also not crash my game this time. Help me out. Impressive! You've managed to, challenge, managed to channel the spirit of the forest into this Tolkani crown. Let's see what secret it holds, shall we? Well, well, I'm mildly impressed. This Tolkani crown actually looks like it could commune with nature. Not that it would, of course. That would be ridiculous. Right? You're improving, I'll give you that. From novice to somewhat skilled, it's like watching a tadpole grow legs. Fascinating, in its own way. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's your reward, as promised. You're proving to be quite the investment. Keep this up and who knows? You might actually become indispensable. You know... It's not often I find someone so capable. Perhaps we could chat sometime about, you know, the weather or about the impending doom. You know, light topics. She likes me. Become an expert archaeologist? Well, that was quick. Back for more. I must say, you're proving to be quite the capable little helper. Ready to reach for the stars, darling? Literally, in this case. We're after the Yetziri crown now. The Yetziri were sky watchers. Their crown is said to grant visions of celestial events. Absolute hogwash, I'm sure. But let's make it anyway, shall we? Start with the other Yetziri bits and bobs. Consider it a warm-up for the cosmic main event. And remember, this is our little secret. 
We wouldn't want people getting the wrong idea about our project, would we? You can find a way to uh, find a way to the mountains so you can gather new resources there. Yeah, the trouble is, I need a spring, don't I? Can you help me out here? I tell you, Captain Quincy's been by every day this week. Says he's just browsing, but I think he's trying to work up the courage to adopt a cat to keep his meowing parrot company. Science. Alright, so what do I need here? Cable for cable car. Where do I get that? Town. So somewhere in this building. Or somewhere in this town. Eh, we'll find it. Anyway, I had a great time today. Thank you so much. I really should be getting to bed about uh, seven hours earlier than now. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I think we're committed to this game. I think I'm going to play this and probably Cyberpunk 2077. We'll finish up Battle Chef Brigade and we'll keep playing... Oh, what's it called? Final Fantasy XIV on Final Fantasy Fridays. But I think this is a good cozy game. I think I want to see this one all the way through to the end. <coughs> it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I feel like we're halfway there, right? Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. I had a good time. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And if you're watching on Twitch, stick around. I'll find somebody to raid. We can raid Kenshin. We do owe him. And oh, Lil Spion's doing stuff. Miss Lil Spion. She likes cozy games. Uh, she's playing uh, Lorcana or, or just dry unboxing decks. I can't tell. I think we are going to raid Kenshin. Just because he raids us so often. It, it's a courtesy. He's playing satisfactory and it looks like he's running around the desert. Always a good time. Say hi to Kenshin for me. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>